Hey everybody, Bohush here for photodeoxpro.com. Uh, as of this video, we are fresh from NAB, and uh, that is the National Association of Broadcasters where all the coolest new video cameras get marched out. And among them was this beast, the Blackmagic Ursa. But they also announced a Blackmagic Ursa Mini. This is a 4K camera. It's, uh, this one's 15 pounds. The Mini is much smaller. As you can see, it's making, making hay with my table. But uh, I bring this to you because uh, there are a lot of cool lens options with the Ursa. Uh, like this one, for example, is an EF mount camera. So you can use all your Canon cameras. You can use lots of adapters that we've got here if you want to put other lenses on the front. You can also use our whole line of ND throttle adapters, which are adapters with variable ND built right in. We made a video about just that very topic. But we want to talk about ultra wide angle lenses. There are times when you want to add a neutral density filter onto an ultra wide angle, but you can't because of the shape of the lens. There are no threads. There's no really good way to put a neutral density on the front. That's why we invented the Wonder Pana system, which not only lets you put neutral densities on the front, but you can also put a circular polarizer, uh, big square filters with gradients, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let me show you the magic of the Wonder Pana and how it can work with the Ursa camera. And by the way, it'll work with either Ursa camera, the big guy or the little guy, because it does not require the rod system. This is not going to mount in your matte box or anything. It all attaches to the lens itself. So let me show you how that works. This is my little Rokinon uh, EF compatible lens. Great little lens. It's a 14 millimeter. So we've got two components that are important to the Wonder Pan. This is the mount right here. There's this collar and this front bit. So first, slip the collar around the lens. Of course, this is before you mount the lens onto the camera. And now this front guy, it actually has spots where it mates with the tulip hood. That's how it locks on. And then just spin the collar around. And now you've got a 145 millimeter thread on your ultra wide angle lens. So you won't get any vignetting or any of that kind of stuff. As you can see, it looks a little bit like a trumpet right now. But in a moment, we're going to add round filters onto the front. So let's mount the lens like you normally would on the camera. Okay, like that, we're ready to go. Now we have a whole huge selection of these 145 millimeter filters. They're exclusively part of the Wonder Pana system. Like here's a circular polarizer. Great for shooting reflective surfaces like water, uh, also great for shooting through glass and you can dial the reflections out. Uh, and also if you're shooting anything metallic like a car surface, and there might be very, very fine scratches, you can actually dial those out. So you just screw that on the front like so. And then this front section, you're able to spin and dial the exact amount of circular polarization you need. But we're here to talk about NDs. So we offer a whole bunch of NDs for the Wonder Pana system, ND4 through ND1000. So you're going to find something there. This is an ND8. Fly that on like so. And yes, your ultra wide angle lens has ND8 on it now. Now I'd like to show you an expansion on this because not only is the Wonder Pana system for round filters, it's also for our square filters. So all we have to do is add the WP66 square filter holder, which is right here. If you look around here, you can see that there are these little screw holes right on the back of the Wonder Pana free arc. Like so. Turn that around. Okay. So now we have a square filter holder on the front of the camera. And uh, you can see one of the secrets of the free arc is that the front section rotates. Obviously my lens is locked in. But that means when you use one of these square filters, which has a gradient, you can place the gradient wherever you want it to be in your picture. A great way to save the sky which is important to those of us who shoot video. You know, photographers, uh, they have all kinds of cool tricks in Photoshop they can do to bring back the exposure of the sky. Uh, even with the extended latitude of a camera like the Ursa, it's still useful sometimes 
to be able to just place the angle effect and place the horizon of the effect wherever you want it to be in the picture. And again, we're not using the accessory rods at all. You don't need a matte box for the Wonder Panda to work for you, which means it will work equally well on the regular Ursa or the Ursa Mini. Now, we've got a whole selection of filters for the Wonder Panda system, ND4, 8, 16, 32, and 1000. That's like the, the big stopper. We've also got a big selection of these square filters, too. Uh, they come in 0.6 and 0.9 ND, both a soft edge and a hard edge, depending on what it is you're shooting. We also offer them in colors. We've got blue, we've got tobacco, we've got a whole bunch. Uh, if you just check out photodeoxpro.com, you can see the whole selection of Wonder Pan of filters, both square and round. Oh, and that's right. We've got a round and a square mounted at the same time, or you can have two squares mounted at the same time, either or. So the Wonder Panda system is great uh, for those of you shooting with wide-angle lenses on your Ursa camera, or really any camera. Um, I'm very fond of the 14mm lens myself. It's, uh, they call it the Gilliam lens in Hollywood because Terry Gilliam uses them a lot, and uh, I'm a huge Gilliam fan. So when you've got your Ursa, you've got your Ursa Mini, and you want options for adding an ND, and you're shooting with a wide-angle lens like my 14mm, you've got options with the Wonder Panda. So make sure to check the links down below this video. You'll be taken to a catalog page with all the details about the Wonder Panda system. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe. You can get more videos just like this one. My name is Bohush. Thanks for watching. Check out these other videos featuring the Black Magic Ursa and gear from Photodeox.